We're working on a couple projects, but in this video particularly, I'm going to show you how to install a posi lock system in your S10 or eliminate the vacuum actuator for the four-wheel drive. I'm going to make this a one-clip video, short and simple, three minutes maybe if that, and then check out the normal vlog that'll probably go up next to this same day for the 390 motor drop in the 67 Mustang. But, so, what you want to do is get this cable, Napa sells them, it's about 40 bucks. You make an L bracket, so I had someone at work make this for me, and it's a locking control cable, so you pull it out four inches and turn it 90 degrees and it'll lock. So you route that all the way through. On the passenger side of the truck, follow me right around. <clears throat> there is a hole, I have some shit in here, but there's a hole directly back here where your antenna goes through. Cut a little slit in there, you can shove the cable through, the cable comes all the way out here, and then I weaved it through so it comes up through the motor. This is all my electrical stuff, power, heated seats I put in, subs, all that. And I routed it. I actually had to replace the blower motor last weekend. So while I had it out, I ran the cable under the coolant thing. So it comes down here. You pull off your vacuum actuator. Make a couple relief cuts in this with a hacksaw, grinding wheel, whatever. Make a bracket that holds the cable. And then this isn't the best idea, but it's the only thing. Um, the forum, actually, I got this off the forum. It says use the U-bolt clip. So it holds that right to there as you can see and when you pull that so you push the button in pull it lock it and then it'll shift into four wheel drive and then you hit the button to two wheel release the cable and you go back in two wheel drive it is a foolproof system because there is no vacuum actuator and then you just want to plug off the line to the vacuum so i just put a bolt in there and hose clamped it in so that's all set and there you have it <clears throat> probably it takes an hour or two to do the whole thing, run the cable, and it's worth it. The cable cost me 45 bucks. I had the brackets made for free. Um, I mean, if you had to do everything, you'd probably spend 50 $60 in parts, or you could go online and somebody sells the Pisi Lock cable system for this truck um, for 149 I think it is, 150 bucks. And that's not worth it. Don't waste your money. If you're mechanically inclined, spend the extra two hours, do the job yourself, because you're gonna have to run a cable through it anyway, so why not do it for the cheap? But well, that eliminates it, and there you have it, folks. Stay tuned. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.